all my life, my father has encouraged us by violently beating every one of the five brothers. That That's how my father handled everything. From children raising, to neighbor issues, to wife issues, to work issues, was all handled with violence. 13 years ago, I met my fiance, who was my wife at this point. Sue was a very confident and energetic young lady, which was unusual for me because what I would usually do is weed out through the waters the women that are not confident. And as a past a verbally and controlling abuser, it's very easy to pick out just with little subtle comments who are women that can be manipulated emotionally. Sue was one of those that could not. The, the, the biggest last straw was that I cheated on her. We had no contact for months after that. And that was very important because if, if my partner didn't call me on it in the past, I had no reason to change and no desire to change. And it took, again, months, if not years following that. Why won't she just forgive me? She has no reason to forgive you. She doesn't trust you. You're not automatically given trust. You have to earn trust, especially from her, considering all the issues and things that you have done to her. So I continued to struggle with it. Our relationship continued to be on the rocky roads until Sue, six months later, finally gave me a night out. We went out for dinner, just like a first date, and we started our relationship over again. The support that I got from the group and the things that the group taught me told me that this was a wonderful person and you need to change, Dave. You need to forget all about the way your father taught you to be in a relationship. Seeing my sons pulling away from me, my daughter pulled away from me, and a person that seemed to be a very special person pulling away from me. It's like, holy cow, how many things need to go off? How many lights need to go off before you finally realize that there's an issue internally going on with you and you need to start working on them? And that's when I started just going to group and just looking for help from one thing. Just help me with this one issue and I'll move on. It wasn't easy and it's still not easy because there are times when even after being in group for 10 years, I could go back. I have a very strong buffer now that cuts things off and s tells me that I shouldn't say that. And then I run it in my head, and a majority of the times I don't put that out. And it's great, and I take it to group, and I say, this is what I was thinking of saying or doing. And the group, the gentlemen in the group, will all start commenting about how they feel that that was inappropriate, and we're glad that you didn't say it, and we're glad you brought it to group. And that's, that's where I've been going. Every Tuesday night, seven o'clock, and I love it. And my wife is very proud of me and very happy that I continue to go. And not only did what I've learned in group help me with my current marriage, 
It's helped me tremendously at work with my fellow employees and with my patients, and also tremendously with my children. And my daughter, who is 27 now, caught all ties with me. Up until um, one year ago, she allowed me to come back into her life. The help's out there, but you have to make the first step. Contact Women's Shelter.